What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Bath bombs are super fun all the way around, but sometimes they can be tricky to make, especially for beginners. So today I'm going to show you how to make them step by step using a very easy beginner friendly recipe that makes rock hard bath bombs by the way. Very hard. As always, check out the description. You'll find the recipe, substitutions, tips, the supply list, updates, and more. First, I'd like to discuss colorants. There are several to choose from, including color powders, liquid colorants, and micas. Which one you choose depends on your preference and the results that you're trying to achieve. You can add one or a combination of several. While micas add some color, they're used more for adding sparkle. If you want bright, bold, and vibrant colors, I recommend liquid or powder color made from dye or use lakes. These will be linked in the description. To learn more about colorants and how to make your own, click the information icon. You only need baking soda and citric acid to make a bath bomb. These two ingredients are what makes the bath bomb react and fizz in the water. But I'm also gonna add cornstarch because it adds some bulk and it makes the bath bomb last a bit longer in the water. If adding powder colorant, sieve it in with the dry ingredients. For more information on how to make your own, click the information icon. Sieve the dry ingredients together Then mix them well. You also have to add wet ingredients to bind the dry ingredients together, also known as the binder. Common wet ingredients include carrier oils or melted butters, fragrance or essential oils, or even just water. You can add one or a combination of many to achieve specific results. For this recipe, you'll need approximately 15 to 20 milliliters of liquid. Add fragrance or essential oil for scent. Water makes the bombs hard. And polysorbate 80 emulsifies water and oil together. If you don't have this, you can omit it. If adding mica powder, always add it to the wet ingredients so the tiny particles don't fly everywhere and you don't breathe it in. Mix wet ingredients together. Then add it to the dry, slowly, little by little while whisking. If you add too much too quickly, the mix will react and puff up and that's not good. Now thoroughly mix, knead, and rub the mixture with your hands. The mixture should feel like barely wet sand and should hold together when squeezed. For bath bomb molds, I highly recommend high quality stainless steel molds because you have to tap the molds so the bath bomb comes out. Um, they have the set with the lips or without. I prefer without. This is my favorite set here, um, but I will link it. Um, so when I first started making bath bombs, I bought these tin foil aluminum little cheap molds. One tap and it's gonna leave a permanent dent there. And so your bath bombs are gonna come out with all these little weird look looking shapes there. See, so I'll show you on this one. There it is. Fill the mold and lightly pack it. 
sprinkle loose mix on top. Repeat for the other side. Smash the two sides together tightly until the molds firmly touch all the way around. Tap both sides with a spoon to release the bomb. Dry them for 24 hours. During this time, they're very fragile. All right, so let's check out how the bath bombs did. They've been sitting here about 12 hours, and as you can see, there's no cracks. Just a little flat spot where they dried on the table. I think it's an advantage because it will keep your bath bombs from just like rolling away. You know, when you set them on side of the tub right there, when you get in the tub and it's, they're not gonna roll away. Very hard. Now that's what I call a good bath bomb. It's indestructible. Mm, they smell very nice. After 24 hours, after they're no longer fragile, and they've dried hard, go ahead and wrap them, shrink wrap them, and they will continue to dry in the wrapper. And then you wanna cure them at least a week so they have time enough to dry so they float in the water. Okay, so I mixed a little bit of uh, mica and alcohol here. I'm just gonna kinda drop it on there and then do a few little taps. And that's it. Now it's not a plain and boring bath bomb. And those have gold mica in them, so it really ties the theme together. Dry the paint 20 minutes before touching it. Which one do you like more, the blue or turquoise? Drop me a comment. I didn't expect the turquoise one to float because I just made it, but the blue one dried for four days. My only choice is to let them dry more. However, next time I will decrease the wet ingredients to try to get them to float sooner. If you're having similar issues, watch the how to make bath bombs float tutorial. And if you're new to bath bomb making, check out my Bath Bomb Making 101 playlist. It's extremely helpful. All right, y'all, thanks so much for joining me. For more awesome tutorials just like this and to show my channel some love, subscribe now. Just click my face right there in the middle.